Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to learn about that how we can enumerate more links from a particular uh, web application or a particular domain name. Before going to this video as always if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can use AMS to find root domains then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. Also for those who are new to our channel then go ahead and check out our website which is www.bpractical.tech or simply type bpractical.tech over there we have awesome labs related to cyber security as well as web development so you'll learn a lot of things over there just go and type bpractical.tech in the browser as you can see over here and just uh, hit enter and you will be redirected to our awesome websites so let's just wait for a few seconds and as you can see here we are we have a lot of contents related to uh, cyber security like if you check over here we have articles as you can see we have articles top tools for port scanning information disclosure uh, and subdomain uh, takeovers or uh, misconfiguration so many things right and the interesting thing is that there is a lab section that we are providing over there you can learn that uh, how hackers can actually find account takeover vulnerabilities by diving deep into the web application to find these type of uh, business, business logic vulnerabilities that allow them to hack anyone's account and all of these labs are based on real world scenario so yeah go ahead and check it out and now with that being said let's get started so the tool that we are going to use in this particular video is uh, pretty much useful for those who are new to uh, bug bounty hunting or who are, wants to uh, get more links uh, in a bug bounty program like you may have often seen that many bug bounty uh, program have a scope right so scope means that only these targets have been allowed to test for vulnerabilities right in that case you can use this tool which i'm going to show you right now that can be used to filter out those uh, out of the scope links and you'll get more fruitful results if you are into bug bounty hunting so the tool name is xn link finder so let me show you that how we can install this tool so the link of this github repository is given in the description as well as you can just go and type uh, this uh, tool name in the uh, google and you will be redirected to the application so let me show you just go and type xn link finder and space github and the link is also in the uh, description over here as you can see this is the tool that we are going to use just click on it and as you can see here we are so why we are using this tool because this tool is uh, used to discover endpoints and potential parameters that can be vulnerable right of a given target and it can find them by crawling the target multiple targets search files in a given directory uh, you can also use this from burp project xml file and so many things so it can also scan from the passive sources like way back, uh, way back machine etc so let us see what are the features what are the functionalities that we need to pass what are the arguments we need to pass, pass uh, minus i for the input minus o for the output uh, we need to pass minus op for the output parameter so this file to save the potential parameter output to including the path if necessary so output word list so we can also pass word list i guess and there's a lot of things that this tool has to offer as you can see there's a large amount of uh, flags over here right this has a config file which has the keys which can be updated to suit your needs so we can also pass some keys to increase the potential of this uh, particular application for now let's focus on how we can use this tool now to clone this file into our local machine just copy this link and open your Kali Linux machine and just type get clone and paste this link right now this will clone this particular project in your local machine hit enter and in my case as you can see it is saying that path already exists and it's not an empty directory obviously because I already have this file cloned in my machine so that's why it's throwing this error but in your case it is going to clone the file depending on your internet connection and it's going to take some time and once you have that what you need to do is you need to go to the uh, location of this particular project xn link finder and after that clear the screen and type ls and the very first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, run this particular setup.py file and to run this file just type sudo python3 setup.py and install this will install and build xn link finder according to your machine provide the root password and let's wait a few seconds and as you can see it is saying that finished processing dependent dependencies for xn link finder now all of the uh, repositories have been uh, installed for Kali, uh, for this particular tool just clear this and now we are good to go now we are ready to use this tool so let's see that how we can use this tool for our benefit now let's 
scroll down again and the very first thing the obvious things that we want to do is we need to pass minus i to give the input minus o to have the output minus op obviously we want the parameters as well so these are some important things the another important thing is minus sf now this is an interesting argument why because this can be used to filter out scope right suppose you have a target let's say for example i'm going to use redbull.com right now we uh, suppose for the example let's say that red bull in red bull bug bounty program only the domain redbull.com is in scope or only few domains like redbull.com let's say test.redbull.com uh, and let's say uh, admin.redbull.com is in the scope right so we are interested in finding those links only which are which belongs to any of these three uh, domains subdomains right so this is the reason why we we need to pass the scope filter right so let's see how we can pass it i hope the, that you have understood it now we have interesting parameters as well to pass the cookies to pass the headers to more have more aggressive uh, link finding process we can also pass them for, for now i'm not going to do that so let's see that how we can use this tool now so right now uh, let me just create a simple uh, text file let's say nano uh, scope dot txt inside this file i'm going to type redbull.com for an example like we are only interested in those links that have the domain redbull.com right save it and once we have saved this file what we need to do is we need to run the action link finder so just type python 3 action link finder dot py right minus i here we can pass a text document as well as a single domain name totally depends on you i'm going to pass the domain name as well the simple domain name is fine now we can uh, specify minus sf for the scope filter again here you can pass a text document or you can simply just type the domain name which is in the scope so as you can see we have created a scope.txt file so let's pass that scope.txt now we can pass minus o because we want the output let's say uh, red bull uh output uh, dot txt and let's say uh, we want the output parameters as well so and let's save this file as param dot txt right so this is going to take input this is going to filter out the scope and this is the output and this is the output with the parameters let's hit enter let's see what is the output that we'll get from this tool and as you can see the scanning has been completed real quick and over here you can see potential unique link found for Red Bull is 228 and potential parameters found for redbull.com is 518 right so we got 518 parameters for redbull.com which is quite interesting because we may be able to test more uh, uh, vulnerabilities like xss open direction and so many things on these parameters so let's see what is the output we have let me just clear it and now we have uh, parameters paraf.txt we have uh, red bull output.txt right so let's uh, view the source of uh, each one of this file so cat let me uh, see the red bull output and as you can see we have these links so these links are directly associated with red bull.com so these are the uh, uh, reference link you can say right so they don't uh, they didn't contain any domain name but it belongs to red bull.com Again, we got uh, destination.redbull.com over here as well. And there's a lot of things that we got, right? Now, let's, let me just clear it. And now, uh, let's uh, see what is the params.txt file containing, right? And now, again, as you can see, these are the parameters that are getting passed in the domains, right? So this is how you can use this tool to find different uh, parameters as well as uh, the the links right of a particular scope so this is how you can use this tool i have shown you a very simple way of using this tool so uh, if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section right and yeah and for those who are new to our uh, channel and if you haven't checked out our telegram channel which is uh, be practical tech as you can see it is displaying over here so just go and join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cyber security and web development also if you like the way i teach then go ahead and check out my two courses the first one is the ultimate guide to hunt 
account takeovers where i have shown you that uh, how we can dive deep into the application to find those vulnerabilities that will result in account takeovers fully configured and done in practical way the second course which i'm running is hacking windows with python wherein you will learn that how hackers create their own python uh, malwares that can be used to uh, uh, create their own custom malware that can bypass any antivirus that can execute system commands that can that can hack uh, the webcam and so many things upload and download files so many things right just go and check it out the link is given in the description and you can just go and click on it and you'll be redirected to the courses right now with that being said keep learning and thanks for watching